Opening in theaters this week is the Holocaust drama One Life, and here's my review. During that horrific period when six million Jews and several other lives perished at the hands of the Nazis, it's important to remember those who recognized the atrocities being committed and sought to save as many lives as possible. Nicholas Winton was one of those people, and through this docudrama, director James Haas presents a stirring depiction of his efforts to get children onto trains and safely to England. Jumping back and forth between the late 30s and the 1980s, One Life does a more than commendable job of showing the work Winton and his colleagues did and the lasting importance of it. As portrayed here, Winton is shown to be genuinely good-hearted and just doing what he feels is right. This acquaintance to him in both his younger years and when he's older and largely dismissing the impact he has had and assuming that the children he saved are not preoccupied about him. Anthony Hopkins plays him exceptionally well as he wonders if anyone will be interested in the old photos and documents from his wartime activities and if they are of any use to anyone. Johnny Flynn is also very good as the younger Winton, trying desperately hard to get the right papers in order. The film is able to depict the lengthy process that got those children on the trains to safety. Haw's direction makes this compelling and depicts the urgency and need to make sure they have the proper paperwork in order. The filmmakers also choose the right spots to cut back to the 80s, never come across as jarring as both stories work well with each other and are pivotal to Winton's character. One Life also makes sure to give credit to his colleagues, who are just as pivotal in getting the kind of transport up and running and with incredible risk. There is this frequent concern of the Nazis coming in and disrupting everything. As good as the 1930s scenes are, it's the 80s portion of the movie that results in the biggest emotions. Anyone familiar with Winton's story and his appearance on the television show That's Life knows what's coming, and yet when it happens, it still packs an emotional punch. Haas perfectly recreates those moments without overdoing them and highlights just how significant his role in the kind of transport was. Meanwhile, Hopkins finds the right reactions for Winton. There's one quiet scene of him by a swimming pool that probably shows how this sudden, unexpected moment impacts him. One Life works in telling the story of Nicholas Winton, but it does something else well too. The Holocaust stands as one of the most horrible acts committed by human beings in the history of the world, and the lingering trauma on the Jewish people remains to this day. So when someone like Winton comes along during that time to make sure the death count did not rise any higher, it's important to remember the good they did. The film highlights how one decision can help save so many lives, and as a result, their descendants are still around to tell their stories. What Winton and the other people organized the Kinder Transport did was incredible and should be commended and honored. One Life becomes a worthy depiction of those events and their accomplishments.